Hello, hello, hello. Never gave the song a chance to play itself out in full before. Thought I'd do it for once. Hello, and welcome back to Poke Boomers. As seems to be a tradition, uh, I am not feeling 100% today. <laughs> I slept like crap, and the day job has continued to just be real rough on me this week. So, this is probably going to be a shorter stream. I want to get that out of the way right out the gate. I apologize. Um, but I can't do a whole lot about, uh, you know, threatening to be fired. Uh... <laughs> If you missed yesterday's stream, to catch you up very briefly, um, I got Dive, went and caught a couple of new friends, went and fought Team Aqua, who are a complete meme, and then fought Kyogre, and uh, suffered a couple of casualties, including CEO of Live Laugh Love, the Plusle, who was, without exaggeration, the best Pokemon I have in this run by far. Uh, so that was just the, just the perfect cap off to yesterday. Uh, I'm going to fight Wallace. It's Wallace, not one. It's Wallace, not one. Uh, I'm going to fight Wallace. Our level cap is 43. I'm getting a notification that my stream is unstable, so I'm sorry if things look bad. The last time this happened, there was a thing I could easily fix. Uh, I have checked that thing, and it is fine. Let me actually check it again, just in case it's acting up now that I've... Nope, still the exact same thing. Huh. Yeah, not, uh... Not sure what's going on then. Okay, well, in either case, uh, I had some decisions to make after last time, because I've been kind of counting on Live, Laugh, Love, the Plusle, to take care of a lot of this gym. Like, not all of it, not a full sweep, but a whole lot of it. Because, you know, she's a pretty good psychic type. So I reached back in my box, took a look at what I have, and I settled on the following team. I know, I know, I know I said during yesterday's stream that based on the nature and the ability, I wasn't going to use this Pokemon, but I, I, want you, I want you to take a moment, dear viewer, and look at my casualties box. That's a fair number of good Pokemon that I have had die during this run. My options are kind of getting down there. I mean, for God's sake, yesterday I was literally using Roselia. So, you know things are not good. So, she has come along. I, of course, infected her with Pokerus, updated her moveset a little bit. I have one more update to do at great cost to my sanity. We'll get there in a bit. Depressed CEO has leveled up. My shiny Numel is now a shiny Camerupt and is a very edgy gal shopping at Hot Topic. And is much the same, just has Flamethrower now. Not a big change. CEO of Yuri back on the team. Pumped a couple PP ups into Giga Drain because that should be pretty key in here. She's going to be able to deal with Dare I say, almost everything in here? The only thing I'm really worried about is her tanking an Earthquake, because, uh... 57 defense and a Poison typing? Not great for dealing with that. CEO of Elon, uh... has to... has some very big shoes to fill. And they don't even have feet. Because, you know... Plusle fell and they're... a ball. <laughs> anyway, uh, Elon is just much the same as ever. I probably need to find a move to replace Rollout, but I've yet to settle on anything. Might teach them Spark Wave or Thunder. I haven't quite made up my mind. Thunderbolt should be plenty fine for what we're going to do, and they're going to be leading us off. I put Drip CEO back on the team. I did a lot of looking at what we had, and I was kind of thinking, you know, she's a little bit... Uh... <laughs> plant more citrus berries. It's true, it's true. I actually need to check on my crop after I'm finished going over the team, because I am a disorganized mess today. But I thank you, Hugh. Uh, Drip CEO is much the same. There is another small update I need to make to her moveset. And then uh, I put CEO of UAV on the team, because I considered using Gyarados to kind of try and null out after I bait into an earthquake, but I just don't think my Gyarados is going to be any good in PvP anymore, unless I put on Earthquake, and Hugh, it was actually you who made the point that, uh, you know, next generation, 
uh, the physical special split happens, and therefore it might not be a good idea to, like, put Gyarados on my personal ban list from Gen 3, and I thought that made a lot of sense. So now that I've gone over that, let me do a bunch of filler shit that nobody cares about. <laughs> uh, because as I mentioned, I'm a little bit of a mess today. As seems to always just happen despite my best efforts, uh, whenever it's time for me to fight a gym leader. I legitimately don't know how this keeps happening. Wednesdays just keep being bad. Not a whole lot I can do about it. <laughs> And a lot of other days don't work for me to stream, so... I'm just gonna check on my crops real quick. And now, my plan is to... I'm actually gonna skip all the trainers. I'm extremely worried about overleveling. And I hope to god I don't need to worry about... Okay, those are still growing? Seriously? I hope to god I don't have serious need of money anymore. I mean, I basically only have one capture left, and that's going to get Master Balled. And, uh, you know, it's... Okay, here we go. Citrus Berries. Pass me followed your advice. Retroactively, or something. I, <laughs> I pulled a zero escape and morbed through the timeline. <laughs> it's such a convenient spot. It's, like, right outside of a major town... I should probably, honestly, be growing a little more aggressively, but, like, I have over 30 citrus berries, so that feels pretty good to me. I'm actually... I'm gonna plant some other types at this point. <laughs> I was a little lax about uh, keeping up on my crops uh, early in the generation, but uh, never again. Never again, I tell you what. And chesto berries. I was really hoping those ones west of town would be fine as well, but c'est la vie, as people say when they want to be pretentious. Okay, so I... It, you can you could probably deduce it from looking at my team, but I'm not going to do hard mode gyms, and if you're coming into this and you're like, what is Pokeboomers? I don't know what that is. That's when we score more... Uh, essentially would come to down to be bragging points. Uh, for defeating a gym without using a super effective move. And I'm like, no, I'm just, I'm not. I don't feel like I would have good candidates to make that happen. Like, maybe you could pull something out with the, with the PC box I have. I've certainly got enough water types, but... Man, I just, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't think it would go too well. And I just, I just kind of want to push the electric and grass buttons until everything falls over. Is that lazy of me? Absolutely. Will it work? Almost certainly. And, you know, uh... <laughs> Depression CEO is a bit of a wrench to this whole plan, but obviously she will not be coming out. If she comes out, just assume I'm about to wipe and probably you'll hear an announcement that, like, Oh, Vimbert is no longer part of the po Pokemovers because he hates Hoenn so much he doesn't want to play through the game again. Because, <laughs> like, even with Gen 2, it was a tall ass. Like, my god. <laughs> but I should be okay. I am carrying, around, carrying some rare candies for CEO of Oil to yeet into her just before I do the gym fight. Uh, this is just in case, just in case, I mess up the puzzle and fall through the ice and have to battle a trainer or two. Otherwise, I intend to just go straight for the man himself. It's kind of interesting. Why are you... Do I still need to do something for you to... Vimbert, we owe it all to you. The sky above Sutopolis has returned to normal. For that, Wallace sends his thanks too. And that same Wallace is waiting for you inside. He's strong, but the way you are now, you should be on equal footing with him. Give it your best shot. Okay. Thanks, man. That seems super unnecessary. Oh! Um, right, I need backups. Uh, my backups are my Gyarados and my Dustox. Should I have Pokemon fall in battle? 
almost forgot. Uh, TMs will be divvied out uh, before the man himself. Okay. I want to be very careful and very deliberate about this. No fast forwarding, no screw ups here. Go over here, here, here. And we just kind of do like this. Okay, good. Remember the snake, exactly. Try to remember the basics of Ice QC. And then I kind of go. Not left yet, because then I trap myself. I go like this, and then just kind of snake. I step on like snack. And then I can just kind of snake my way to the man himself. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> that honestly worried me more than the fight. <laughs> God gamer, I know. I'm just too big brain for the for these for these baby puzzles. <laughs> I walked so you could fly. Sure, we, we can call it that. Okay. Uh, level cap is 43, so let's get CEO of oil there. And yeah, she has lantern stats, which is kind of another reason why I wasn't thrilled about lantern, but like Pretty good learn set and an electric type. Definitely a ghost. <laughs> we need art of the hue ghost. Oh, you can learn takedown? Uh I didn't actually even know that. Um No. No. No, you're you're not even remotely a physical attacker. Stop that. Three spooky five me. Okay, so now the move set updates that I alluded to. At great cost to my sanity, I grinded up another Thunderbolt TM. And we're going to put that on CEO of Oil. Because Spark, Spark just ain't going to cut it. Like, there's no universe in which Spark is good enough. I tried that in Gen 2, it didn't work, that was foolish. And honestly, I think back then I was under the impression that Spark was like Swift and that it couldn't miss. And now, for something that could be controversial, like, this is absolutely just raking in short-term gain, but I thought about it, and there's basically nobody else that I would want to teach Earthquake to, aside from Dripsio. And yes, Swampert learns Earthquake naturally by level, I'm aware of this. However... This gets me an extra use of Earthquake in PvP. And the only other physical attacker I really have who could get mileage out of it is Gyarados. And as previously discussed, it's not really a good idea to screw myself out of Gyarados for the next generation we're going to do for Pokeboomers. And this is the final gym. Like, I would just basically get one week of Gyarados with Earthquake and then yeet it back into the PC? That doesn't seem worth it to me. So, Dripsio is going to become more powerful. Let's get rid of this earth, this, this blizzard. <laughs> Let's get rid of this earthquake. I am teaching her earthquake, Jesus. I think that was all I had. Yeah. Okay, I am going to lead with CEO of Elon so we can set up the light screen. Uh, my Camel Rupt is going to be my XP share, Soak, because she should not be fighting here. Also, let it just be noted, we have a legit girl squad, and CEO of Elon, who is genderless, non-binary? I don't know. It's Pokemon. Who I... I have no idea. They're a ball. What do you want from them? <laughs> And I'm actually a little concerned, particularly about the Wiz Cash, that I don't... I think I want to keep Citrus Berries on everybody. I don't even think I want to, uh, Amulet Coin here. That's probably being too cautious, but, like, 
I don't want to take chances. The battle scene is going to on. I am going to save. Just in case Revia decides to wake up from being passed out behind me. And be like, haha, I've turned it. I've figured out how to turn off the computer while you were working. And I'd be like, shit. Why have you done this? Please, child. Do not. Okay, let me take a drink of water. Alright. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Wallace, the gym leader of Suitopolis. There's something about you, a difference in your demeanor. I think I sense that in you. What happened inside the Cave of Origin and what you did, I will likely learn through our upcoming battle. Now show me. Show me the power you wield with your Pokémon. And I, in turn, shall present you with a performance of illusions in water by me and my Pokémon. So in short, hey, thanks for saving the nation, kid. You're still gonna have to jump through hoops to get the, to get the prize you want. Huck Foen. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna lead with self-destruct, obviously. No, light screen. And I don't think I can be attracted. What is sweet kiss? I don't actually. Oh, confusion. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, still, all I need is one good hit. <laughs> so we're going to use Thunderbolt here, because, obviously, that's going to kill the Love Disk in one shot. And CEO of Elon is a professional. They do not care if they have become confused, because uh, how confused could you be to want to crit yourself instead of critting the Love Disk? It's basic stuff, really. But you'd be surprised how many up-and-coming professionals are faced with one whiz cash and they start to panic. Not my CEOs. You see, first, we swap to CEO of UAV to bait out the earthquake and get it nulled. This could blow up in my face. I hope not. But that is deeply unfortunate. <laughs> that... That is actually the last thing I was expecting to happen. Uh, I guess that means that Elon would not have died to one earthquake, which is, frankly, quite puzzling. Well, since the Wizcash has boosted its special defense, we, sh we shall use a Fachade, a very, a very ethnic Pokemon move, to try to take it down. Because that is a stab physical attack. This could be a terrible idea. It was a terrible idea. Rain Dance has now begun. What the crap do I do now? CEO of UAV is not is not the tankiest gal. Particularly for Oh, that's 59. That is not a large number. <laughs> that is not a large number. Defense is not a large number either, but 59 is very not a large number. I believe at this point the best recourse is to uh, bring out Drip CEO. She's pretty tanky. Even though she's not going to resist water, I just don't think putting CEO of Yuri out is a good call. Well, but I would. Mm, it is weakened and. So, here's what I'm grappling with. In theory, the AI should not use Earthquake, because I have... <laughs> and thank you for the redeem. It's always fun to get a chance to do that. Uh, in theory, and it's also really hard to do Strong Bad when I'm trying to, like, think things through. <laughs> a little bit of an added challenge. Uh, in theory, I have a Flying-type I... So, flying type out, so the AI should be like, okay, no Earthquake, that's not gonna hit. But at the same time, I thought it was going to Earthquake with CEO of Elon. Um, but CEO of Yuri is definitely faster, and has, like, a really, really beefy special attack stat, 
and Giga Drain, which, although it's not stab, Wizcash has a times four weakness, so... I'm kind of thinking that's going to be enough. This could blow up in my face. If so, I will... On a, I, I will rage against the heavens. We have to swap. Game, I swear to God, if you cheat. Okay, there we go. Water pulse is fine. We resist... <laughs> We resist that and... Oh, okay. Light screen's gone. Whatever. That ended up not being super useful, but if I put it back out. Anyway, I know I'm faster. Uh, GG. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. That did not kill! Super! This is gonna crit and kill me, isn't it? Stop, 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 stop. Ho oh! 3 HP in a dream! <laughs> Always rewarded! Always rewarded! <laughs> you can't kill a tentacle with Earthquake. You can't till a kill a tentacle with Earthquake. This is the law of Poke Boomers. <laughs> Whoo, shit! <laughs> Okay, so I hit for about half there. Which means I am faster. So that should kill. But if that was a high roll, I am dooming CEO of Yuri to death. And she's one of the best Pokemon I have left. And frankly, I am just not willing to take that risk. So, let's, uh, let's go for the Bamboozle. Very good. And the rain stopped, so Wizcash might be looking to set Rain Dance back up, giving me a free Fachade here. And of course, Bird of Judgment, I'm faster. No, just going straight for the Water Pulse, that's concerning. How hard, how bad is this? Oh, perfectly fine. Okay, that was incredibly scuffed. <laughs> Jesus. But I got the job done. I got the job done. <laughs> okay, Celio. Celio is fine. Could come out swinging with, like, some water ice nonsense. Um, if CEO of Yuri just doesn't get in... Wait, does he have any, like, weird moves on this? Why it unlocks many fine emotes for you and gives you a gives you a thing in the chat. Thank you, Repu. I appreciate it. Thank you for the prime. Uh, I think CEO of Yuri can safely tank whatever this whatever this Jeb Bush is gonna throw out. And then, well, wait, no, I. Cause yeah, I still I can still do grass against it, right? Yeah, and I basically use this Pokemon to heal back up before the Melodic comes out. Okay. This is the plan. This is the maneuver. Exactly. Jab! I was worried about speaking it into existence. I'm not going to say what it was. If you were here last night, you know what I refer to. Giga Drain is not hitting for as much as I had thought. But I... Ooh, Body Slam. That's a problem, actually. Seriously? <sighs> okay. Um... Okay, good. We got the, we got the Giga Drain off. God, I have... I have really bad luck with moves that have a chance of paralyzing me. Seems to be 100% accuracy when used against me. I don't know what it is. Okay, Sea King, not super worried about you. You do have that insta-KO move, um, but you're the trash fish. It'll be fine. We're gonna put out the CEO of OIL! Oh, Rain Dance. Okay, that's unexpected and a little bit annoying. I don't appreciate that. 
let's just go for the you're faster okay okay I see you I see you oh I played my trump card too early Tentacruel is now in awful shape, and I don't really have a great plan versus Melodic. Hmm. Theoretically, I trigger Hyper Potion here, so let me try and Thunder Wave. Yes. Perfect. No Hyper Potions for that stupid Durgan. So now I can Thunder Wave safely and get to move in first. God, I can't believe... CEO of Yuri just being a magnet for status ailments lately. It's deeply unfortunate. Man. Because now I don't have a fantastic plan versus this melodic team. I'm gonna level with you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not gonna be good. At least the rain stopped. So, I am aware of Marvel scale. Oh! All it does is buff defense, not special defense? Okay. What do I even care then? I'm gonna status ailment this hoe up. Right? Is that smart? Let's think about this. Who would be physically attacking? Drip CEO. And CEO of UAV, I guess, but... She would not do well here, suffice to say. I think getting the chance of free turns and being able to set up Parafusion is more worthwhile. Yeah. Don't. 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 Okay. <laughs> Yugi! Fucking kill him, Yugi! Alright, it's time for a patented Vimbert maneuver that I haven't busted out much in Gen 3. I th you So you wanted to play the game? Well, you don't get to! <laughs> and yes, this is just a normal hit, but CEO of Oil is... Wait. Melodic isn't half dragon? Oh my god, I thought Melodic was half dragon. I am an idiot. Okay, never mind. We're fine. <laughs> She's just water. Okay, I thought she was water dragon. I was like, oh god, I don't have my ice beam user. I'm in trouble. Okay, never mind. I was worried about nothing. I'm a fool. I'm a buffoon. Exposed live on stream. <laughs> Bravo. I realize now your authenticity and magnificence as a Pokemon trainer. I find much joy in having met you and your Pokemon. You have proven yourself worthy of the Rain Badge. Accept it. Thanks for the cash, friend. Got the Rain Badge from the questionably gay artist. Having that badge assures you the full obedience of all your Pokémon to every command you make. Th the badge also allows the use of the HM Move Waterfall to scale walls of cascading water. And so that you never forget the battle we shared, take this. TM03... Don't know if I'm ever gonna put this on anyone. The TM I handed you contains Water Pulse. In use, it will occasionally confuse the target with ultrasonic waves. I'm gonna assume I wouldn't fight anybody, but I extremely don't want to take a chance. Oh, I can. Ah. Uh. The gym is just cleared now, right? Like, should I be healing up my Pokémon? Is this a problem? I legitimately don't know. Uh... I think so, Repu. I think so. But I'm not sure. 
anyway, uh, for defeating the gym, I get another 25 points, so sets my score to 285. Just in case... That's not the case. I have basically infinite super potions. I'm gonna heal up CEO of Oil in case I gotta throw her in. Okay, what ends with the least number of... Well, let me test it. Let me just test it by talking to this person. You might be good enough to avoid getting wiped out in one hit by Wallace. Oh yeah, we never saw the horn drill dream, did we? I'm not sad about that. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, uh, Emerald has a higher level cap, uh, 46. So, for the gym battle on or the gym battle, the PvP battle on Friday, uh, this team will be leveled up to level 46. And uh, that'll be happening over on Hughes' channel. If you're not following him already, you can find him with the Rivals command. Um, I realize, not a long stream, but I'm going to wrap up there, because I have had a very rough couple of days at the day job, and I also slept like complete garbage last night. So, I'm... I don't... I am not convinced I could be entertaining if I tried to keep going with another thing. So, with apologies... I will see y'all Friday for the Pokeboomers PvP and podcast proper. And then, of course, Saturday for uh, Shuffle Saturday. I'll see if I can go a little longer. <laughs> yep, you know me. Total scumbag, Repu. But no, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm going to send a raid to my fellow rival, Avalon, who is playing some Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. Good old demon fighting JRPG. Uh, so thank you everybody for coming out, spending a little bit of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it may be for you. If you're watching the VOD after the fact, I see you, I appreciate you. Uh, my name is Vimbert, I'll see you around the internets, I hope you're having a better day than I'm having. 